Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading, and yes, we're not gonna talk about it, okay? That's my new intro, instead of good morning, good morning, and lande, let's go, okay? So let's begin, we're not gonna talk about it, so let's just start the reading, okay? Please do remember, I do say dear astrology, let me see, I haven't uh, logged into the, uh, into the software, okay? So let's see what's going on with the planets together with the, um, together with Tarot. Please uh, be aware that I am following sidereal astrology and Jyotish, okay? So as above, so below. A lot of people um, would ask, you know, well, I don't know if you ask, but I would just have to talk anyway. Okay, like why why sidereal or why Jyotish? Uh, so I can give hundreds of reasons. Um, but one main reason is that the core principle of it is based on something spiritual, or because you know, like people would be sensitive if we talk religion, right? You know, I don't know why. What's why? Why, why are we gonna be sensitive about religion? <laughs> I don't know why. Why really? I don't know. But anyhow, I'm not here to preach. But if you're wondering, it because it's you know, there's it's spiritually based on you know on how the Vedas has you know given uh, this to the you know to the wise basically, and to help us. That's basically one of the core principle that I like about it. So it gives us you know certain insights on what it is for us here as human beings, you know, as soul uh, beings having a human experience like that. Because okay. there's the karma part of it. There are things that we have to work on. So it helps. It really does. So if you want to do your consultation, this is the ending of the reading. No, <laughs> it's not. Okay. Not yet. Okay. You guys, I know you guys are savoring the smiles. The smile you have to pay. Okay. B-E-A-M means smile. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm a happy reader, so if you don't like that, then this is not a channel for you. Mm, here we go. Let's see. The tower. <laughs> I just said I'm a happy reader. What is wrong here? Oh my god. Mental breakdown cell. What is going on? Okay, so we got Venus in Scorpio already. Ooh, ouch. Zero degrees. Um, right now it's ascendant in Scorpio also. K2 is in Scorpio. This brings tensions in relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, Venus does not enjoy being in this house, even though that it is aspecting its own house, which is Taurus. Um, this brings trauma. This brings, you know, some pain. Um, some, it's really violent. This becomes a violent relationship. Normally, the divine feminine or the feminine in the relationship gets the beating. Does it make sense to you? It can get physical. And I'm not making fun of that. Okay? Does it make sense to you? Like if, you're get, if you're in that relationship, girl, you better get out. Okay? So this is the tower moment. So every time there is, you know, in our life, there is always a tower moment. It's the time that we wake up. It's a time that, you know, it's a wake up call for everyone. Now, having this as your first card, which is very, very strong. This is Mars, right? Mars right now is in Virgo with Sun and then Mercury is there. So they're just having a wonderful time over there. <laughs> when I say having a wonderful time, it's uncomfortable. Where Sun is, okay, it makes the other planets uncomfortable. Why? Because the other planets wants to grow and thrive, but sun is a malefic. And no, you're not going to say, but sun is this energy of happiness and joy. No, in astrology, it is malefic. It is masculine. It, it, uh, it is restrictive. It has its own rules. That's what malefic is. Okay, so widen your, your vocabulary when I talk about malefics. Okay, so the malefic intention of uh, or energy of, of the planet is about to control the king is at sixth house. Virgo, work, you know, you could be a workhorse right now. You're trying everything. But Mars and Virgo has to deal with enemies. So you're fighting wars here and there. Mm -hmm. With Mercury here, it can be dealing with people who are immature. Okay? It can be, you know, like, because the sun is the king. And then you have the prince now you have to deal with. So you're torn between, do I, you know, it's like, when do I really deal with someone who's mature enough to your level? Or you're going to see now situations in your life that the relationship, because the sun is enlightening in that way, like, okay, I've been working hard for this relationship. It still doesn't want to work out and I'm not being treated nicely. And then now you're going to execute Mars. Mars would be now the destruction and it is here. Mm -hmm. And Mars is in what? Nakshatra. Is it still in Hasta? Yep, it's still in Hasta. Okay. And that's why this can really become physical. So I do advise, okay, you know, like don't get into any arguments and fights like that because it can easily get physical. And if it's not going to get physical, it's going to be hurtful. Okay. Now look at me. It's going to be hurtful. With Mercury and retrograde, of course, miscommunication and misunderstanding. 
is about to manifest. So now is the time that we meditate and we contemplate. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, brace yourself here. Mm -hmm. You got a king of wands. So it only means that there's someone who's trying to approach you. Okay, because the king is not you. Um, I feel here that the king of wands is someone who wants to assert their masculinity over you. Like, I'm a bachelor, bachelor type. Uh -huh. Meaning, I don't do relationship this way. And they're not going to back down. Now, this is a situation where when Saturn and Jupiter is in retrograde right now, it affects us because, you know, Jupiter is the Karaka for spouse. And then, you know, it's like this person is testy right now. It can be second marriage also the way I see it. Uh, sometimes, you know, this is what I see with retrograde. You have to deal with your um, second marriage, which is not looking fruitful also. <laughs> um, with the King of Wands, it shows like this is very a dominant controlling person who's trying to show into your life that... This is how I go, my way or the highway. Ten of Wands, look at that. The burden just keeps adding. <laughs> They're Lord, okay. Like, that's why I just want to pray. <laughs> prayers, sis, prayers, okay. Prayer warriors, okay. Hold their hands, okay. Because with the Ten of Wands here, um, this person does not carry their weight. You took them, okay. Like, let's just say, if you're the homemaker, whatever genitalia that you, you carry with you, you're the one who takes care of the, all the responsibility. This person, King of Wands with a tower, ruins everything that you create. I don't know what you did in your past life. <laughs> but with a Ten of Wands, before you to carry the burden, because that's a Ten of Wands. It's a burden that you carry this lifetime, and it's becoming more difficult and challenging. Yes? But there are things that can give us, of course, like peace. Uh, the relationship is not going to be peaceful, so don't expect for me to say, oh, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. You got a four of one, see? I told you, the relationship. So home-wise, probably you're the one who's the one, you know, making sure that the household is clean, the bills are paid off, ten of ones, and then look at this one, Michiko Latino, basically. You know, I think that's a song, right? Jerry Halliwell, hello. Okay. With the queen of ones, uh, king of ones, sorry, here, or king, whatever, um, it shows like they don't want to share the responsibility of what you guys have created with the four of ones. Supposedly, this could have been a good reading without the tower, but the first card is the strongest. It's the birth of the reading. So it shows there is aggression here. It's totally Martian. Yes, you know, Venus and Mars are the two, like, you know, okay, like, they can be harmonious. You, you're the Venusian, and then someone is the Martian, right? But it shows here that this person probably has a very challenging Mars placement. What are challenges of Mars? One, if it's, you know, aspected or together with another malefic or with Sun and Mars together right here. You know, a lot of ego and pride. Highway or my way. Yeah, like that. Okay, I said it right. Okay. Let's continue. You got a six of ones over here. You got a four of pentacles. Not open for any kind of discussion. This person is stern. This person is a very, very much, uh, how to say this, um, you know, like, well, I'm not. I'm not. You know, they're not open to hear out, okay? Anything outside the relationship that can bring good to the relationship, okay? With the Six of Wands over here, it shows that, one, this person has arrogant energy over here with the Six of Wands. Now, I don't see you here much besides the Ten of Wands, okay? I really don't see anything besides you're the Ten of Wands trying to pull through the, the relationship here. Mm -hmm. That's that. Um, Four of Pentacles blocks you ignores you and four of swords right now you're just trying to recuperate from this because how can i got my how did i get myself mistreated by this person how did i allow allow this to myself with a page of ones over here um expect a message of course you know with a king to the page it's going reverse so it can be a younger person who doesn't know yet how to deal with relationship like they're still learning or they're mature they're old enough but still immature when it comes to dealing with relationship it's a page of ones four of swords with a page of ones they held back they message they want to talk about the relationship right but before i proceed more i forgot to mention of course you know with great channel comes great products <laughs> okay so please do check in the description box below this is the piao okay and if you're just gonna hate that i'm talking about my products darling you're gonna hate me a lot then okay because i love my creations okay so i want to share it to everyone so this is the piao um so it's a guardian you know it's feng shui and it's a pet to bring actually like money all right so it's not about like, ooh, something spiritual. No, it's not. Okay. You know, you put it in the front of your doorway. I have two tiny ones, two small ones. But then ever since I got this one, it's like, of course, like, you know, upgrade. Um, it has brought me so much luck in my life. 
Um, but it takes responsibility, of course, right? Okay. So you put you you put some water in the morning and then you pet it. And then, you know, it um it fetches basically money for you that you work hard for anyway. Okay. So it's not magic. Okay. It just opens the door. So every time you open the door, it goes out there. So I pet it, everything like that. Okay. So you can get it for twins. Okay. It's called it, I put it as a twins. Like I Yesterday I call it um two piece, like chicken joy. Okay. Two piece. Okay. Because it's two piece. Okay. So they're very cute. Okay. So you can't have a lot because they're gonna come into fights. Um, you can't look at it in the eye because it <laughs> just don't. Okay, <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, so so that's that. That's how it works. Now it depends, of course, where your house is facing. All these things, but this is normally placed in front of the doorway. Okay, so that's how I can um. Um, help you with regards to finances because I'd rather help you with finances than look at this one. Okay, let's continue. You got the lovers. So there's a feeling of being stuck here. Okay. You got the justice card. There's a feeling that you guys are married. <laughs> See? You got an ace of wands. There's a feeling that this person is just, uh, you know, like trying to get into your pantalones every time because this is very intimate with um, with the lovers and the ace of wands. Venus and Scorpio does amazing intimate connection. Yes. If you're looking for it to bang, I mean, like you are in the right place. Okay. You will get served with this uh, phallic card, ace of wands, if you're into that lifestyle. Okay. But majority of people who are into relationship, they want someone who's committed. But I don't sense the commitment here. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. And then the hermit. So you find yourself in a relationship feeling alone. Sun is in Virgo, 15 degrees. Mars, 17, 17 degrees. Mercury, 7. You have a lot to think about this relationship. With If you look at it from Venus, okay? Everything right now is being weighed down. Because K2 right there makes Venus uncomfortable. It's removing the part of compassion. It's removing the part of connection because K2 wants to separate. Okay, Any relationship that is not meant anymore, K2 wants out, wants you out there. Okay, So let me continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. And if you want to know more about your chart, um, how the planets can influence you, it is the best investment. I did it once in my life. I mean, I did tarot reading for me, um, I think twice, okay? twice in my life and all those manifest yes but it, it took long it took long and i don't know when it's going to manifest but it was magical and then ever since i learned astrology now i know when and it is very important so you can prepare it is the guiding light basically you know it's jotish is the science of light so here if you do your own chart and then it makes sense now your eyes is open to what is about to come and how you can deal with it i mean it's just like reading your life it's like oh okay so this is good not good Mm, the best thing. Okay. And it's going to be in the description box below over there. And if you don't like my products, you don't have to stay here. There's a lot of readers. Thank you. <laughs> Taray, right? Okay. <laughs> See, I do that. I'm passive aggressive. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a nightmare to date. Trust me on that one. Okay. I don't date. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> so anyhow, I just want to catch up with everybody over here. I'm pretty sure, again, we're not going to talk about it, but I'm back. All right. So link down there for the extended. And for everybody, let's push this relationship to where it's supposed to go. I know they ghosted you. I know you feel alone. I know you still want them, though, because you're here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then let's see where is it really going to go. Is the retrograde going to help you? Because all the planets will go direct by the end of October. Are you guys going to be together? Because this is the strongest karma that you will feel. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Then that's it. All right? Have a wonderful, wonderful days, guys. And I'll see you guys again. Bye.